So to register members for your club registration events, what you'll need to do first is get to either your event calendar or your event facility view. Double click on the event you wish to register your members for and it will take you to this which is our registration screen. Up in the top corner you get a list of all the eligible registration events within a certain date range, by default it's a week, so you can flip between them if you do want to register this member for multiple events at a time. In this case, for this video, we will just re focus on registering for one event. The bottom section is the members that you are registering for the event, and there's two ways to do that. You can use the registrant identification method or the quick registration method, both of which we will go over in this video. Up at the top is where you can see a list of all the currently registered members for in this event, along with a summary of how close you are to event capacity. So to register your members for the event, we'll start by using the Registrant Identification option. First step would be to add the member, and if you know the member, you can actually type in their number. If you don't know their member number, you can use these three little dots to bring up a list of your whole membership that you can search for that member. So there is a list of our membership open now on the screen, and what you can do is type in the look for the member's last name, their first name, their phone number, their email, or their member number. Any members matching the criteria that you've typed in will appear on the screen. You also have the option of scrolling through your membership to choose the person that you wish to register. So double click on the member once you find them, and you'll see their name has been dropped here into the registrant identification screen. You can add members that will be joining them, or you can add guests, so if they're responsible for a guest. You can do this by just clicking the Add Guest button. And depending on the settings on the event, you might be able to just type in the guest name. When you're ready, and you've got everybody associated with this event on the screen, you can add notes per person. So maybe this person has a peanut allergy. And you can also add notes by going to the Booking Notes screen to add a note for both people. Once you're happy with the information that's been entered, you can hit register and continue, which would register these members but keep you on the registration screen, or register and close, which would register them and close the registration screen. The second method of registering members for an event would be to use the quick registration. So quick registration, the entry screen is a little bit different. The first thing it asks you for is who is the booking owner? So again, if you know the member number, you can key it in. If you don't know it, you can use this little man to pull up a list of all your membership. Once again, you can search for members by name, by phone number, or by member number. Or if you see the member you want on the list, you can double click on that person and it will pop them into this screen here. So now that I've chosen the booking owner or the responsible member, I now just have to go and say how many members they're bringing and how many guests they're bringing. So maybe in this case, he's coming alone, so he's bringing one member. I can hit register and continue and continue to register more members from this screen or register and close, which will pop up with my booking number and close the registration screen. 